Welcome back to Living 808. Everybody loves Dita Holyfield's All-American Rodeo. The annual event is returning to Waimanalo this weekend, Thursday through Saturday. Hawaii's Queen of Country joins us again to fill us in on the big event. Also joining us, local boy and professional bullfighter, Judd Napier. Hello, thank you both for joining us. Hello. Thank you. Dita, first of all, thank you for those line dancing moves. You're welcome. So fun. I'm going to be practicing <laughs> so that we can meet up somewhere um, and show some moves. Um, but tell us real quick about the rodeo. It's in its fifth year this year. It is, and we have 11 um, competition events. It is like sensory overload. You're going to see bull riding and cakey barrel racing. There are like kids that are seven years old on these giant horses, cowboy hula, wahine um, steering, decorating, team roping. You'll see it's called it's called All American. You'll see every discipline and type of competition in our rodeo. I'm excited thinking about it because, you know, rodeos are actually very popular here in Hawaii, but there are still a lot of people who have never been to one. They don't know much about it. This is a great opportunity to go and check it out. We want to make sure that you don't use that. This ain't my first rodeo. We want you to come <laughs> out and be a big part of it. Um, every state and um, every island has their own rodeo, the Makwa Rodeo, sure. etc. But but the, our rodeo is um, paying out over $43,000 in prize money. It's the state largest in the out, outer island. Um, Paniolos fly over and compete as well. Terrific. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Give everybody all the information in Waimanalo. Yes. Right across, across the street from Olamana Golf Course. Can't okay. miss it. Okay. Judd, tell us a little bit about what you do because you have such an interesting story. Local boy, right? Mm -hmm. Born and raised. Born and raised. Um, what got you into this profession? Uh, well, the agriculture lifestyle has always been a part of my family. My dad grew up ranching with his grandfather or, and his father on Kahua Ranch on the Big Island. And that's where he spent most of that time. But he moved over here, and uh, we always grew up around working cattle and riding horses and part of rodeo and 4-H. Okay. But riding horses, taking care of cattle, that's very different from what you do. I mean, you put <laughs> your life on the line. Um, for people who may not be familiar, uh, what is a bullfighter? Uh, when you think bullfighter, immediately people think uh, Spanish matador. But uh, the American rodeo bullfighter is the person that saves that bull rider and steps in between that bull that's trying to get the bull rider and makes the save, okay, basically. So I'm going to say what everybody at home is thinking. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, for one, it's fun. And two, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> okay, so this is what you do traveling all around, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, that is incredible. So are you going to be in the rodeo yeah. then this weekend? Okay, so people can go and see real-life cowboys. And yes. It's been so cool because I've got so many phone calls. Judd Napier's here. I can't believe it. Judd Napier's in Hawaii. So it's the first time we've really had a big star attend the rodeo, and he'll be at every performance showing what he does and saving our local Paniolos. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is very exciting. We hope that folks will come on down, support uh, the rodeo, support you, and um, we're going to have all the information on our website. But thank you so much. Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, thank you. Here. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Coming up after the break, we're going to wrap things up and tell you what we have in store for you tomorrow when we return. Stay